So you want to watch cable TV without the cable box? So do I. Let's go. This is TechSpan. So if you're anything like me, you pay for cable and cable internet and a DVR and a service for that DVR and, well, I'd rather not. I already swapped out the cable modem I was renting for one that I purchased and save around 10 bucks a month. But last time I was looking at my cable bill, I noticed that I was paying around $25 a month to rent a DVR, a slow, crappy old box that could only record two shows at once. Now, I've been in my apartment in New York City with Time Warner for around three years now, and that means I've paid around $900 for the privilege of owning an old piece of shit cable box. And if you've got more than one TV or more than one cable box, well, it adds up. That's where a product called HD Home Run Prime from a company called Silicon Dust comes into play. It costs around $125, depending on where you buy it, and they were nice enough to send this one over for our episode. But before we get started, a little history lesson. A cable card is kind of like a key to cable TV. It unscrambles the signals for those who are actually paying for the service. And a few years ago, the FCC told the cable companies that they had to allow the use of cable cards to subscribers who didn't want to pay for a cable box. And they did. Kind of. Some cable companies give them to you for free, some charge a few bucks every month to rent them. You can't buy your own cable card, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, if you ever used a TiVo Series 3 or higher, you know how this works. Now for everybody else, back to the HD Home Run Prime. It lets you pop in a cable card from your cable provider, then you can watch cable TV on all sorts of devices, like a PlayStation, Xbox, Windows Media Center, iPad, Apple TV, and a bunch of other stuff. Anything connected to your home network, basically. For more advanced users, you can even make your own DVR. It's worth it, but a little bit more involved. Today, I'm just gonna attempt to set it up and watch some TV. Now, like every other TextBank demo and how-to video, I've never tried this before, so if I make any mistakes, you'll be able to watch and make fun of me, and most importantly, not make those mistakes yourself. Here we go. Here's the cable card that I got from Time Warner. I've already plugged in a switched digital adapter, which I need here in New York City. It allows you to do some of the tuning that the cable box would normally do, but with a device like this. So, there's four cables, you'll want to do a better job hiding them than I have, that go into the back of the HD Home Run Prime. The first is the cable wire that screws into the back and that comes out of the Switch Digital Adapter. The second is the USB cable that also goes into the Switch Digital Adapter. How does USB work? There we go. Um, an Ethernet cable that goes into your home network. Boop. Um, power cable, of course. And the cable card. I probably should have plugged the cable card in before the power, but what can you do? All right. So, I've already gone through the activation process kind of with Time Warner over the internet and over the phone. And it turns out they actually sent me a faulty um, switched digital box. Isn't that nice? Um, so, I got a new one. And let's see here. I went to hdhomerun.com forward slash instructions, and this is the screen that pops up. It'll actually walk you through any particular setup you have from Windows to Linux, and then all of the other software applications and um, devices like uh, Xbox 360 and PS3. So let's just see if it was found. It says if you have a cable card, remove the cable card. All right, the cable card's removed. Refreshed, there it is. All right. So now I'll plug the cable card in, click on the HD Home Run Prime, all right, click on the channel lineup, and then click on Detect Channels. All right, it's already finding some channels here. 1%, it already has 11 channels. That's a, that's a good sign, I suppose. Um, now, in the interest of time, I'm just gonna stop the channel detection. Hopefully that doesn't, uh, I think you gotta finish the channel detection. All right. Well then, I'll sit through this, but in the interest of time, I will fast forward the video. All right, it's been around three, four minutes. I am going to stop the video just for a second, let this finish, um, and I will get myself a gin and tonic. Gin, 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 gin. All right, so besides having two gin and tonics so far, 
Mm. That is good. I let it finish. I also did some setting up. I downloaded an iPad app to see if it works. I set up Windows Media Center. Um, I'm using Windows 7 Home Premium right here. Uh, I believe that's the best, uh, the best gen. So I'm using Windows 7 Home Premium here. That's the best situation because some channels, as you can see here, have the little DRM symbol next to it. Time Warner Cable's a little funky that way. They do set DRM flags and Windows Media, Sever uh, Windows Media Center is the best way to play those channels. So anyway, without further ado, let's go into Windows Media Center. And while I was doing this, I was thinking about all the um, possible different applications and devices you could watch this stuff on. We're not really gonna get into that right now. The main thing right here is to show you that this thing works with a cable card. So the goal is to watch cable television without a cable box. I also plugged in a um, PS3, by the way. We're gonna try to see TV on that as well. So, Republicans stepping over uh, the Democrats to cast their votes. Uh, there we go. A, a that looks pretty good. Really now, since this episode is about using a DVR without the cable company DVR, let me hit the re There's a little record button here. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see that. I'm actually going to not record it. I'm going to pause it. Let that sit for a minute. Um, also, I may be a little dark. That's because I don't have any extra lighting on right now. I just want to get this episode done quickly. But um, I tried to adjust for the television instead of for my face, so I may be dark. I'm sorry. I know you all love looking at me. All right, so we paused it. Let's play it. Not bad, not bad. It works pretty good. I'm going to go to the guide. Wow, what a scene shaping up there on Capitol Hill. NBC's Luke Russer. Also, I'm really impressed that whatever the HD Home Run Prime is doing, however it compresses the video, I'm running this on a little tiny Atom net top. I don't know if you can see it down there. It's like this big. It's really underpowered. It can barely push 1080p. And this looks pretty good. All right. Let's try out the PlayStation 3 and see how that works. All right. So we've got the HD Home Run shows up under video in your, um, I forget what this thing is called, but that thing. So let's pick that. Let's go to channels, New York One. I don't know if you live in New York, but it's a decent news station. Any day now. Oh, there we go. Apparently everything I watch has to do with politics. Anyway, as you can see, um, it wasn't, let me turn that off. The point is it's working. Um, your setup, of course, will be different. You may not have Time Warner cable, so that means you'll have to call a different number. So that's why I didn't talk about that. You could do it online sometimes. Sometimes you um, go to the office and do it. There's all sorts of different ways to do this sort of stuff. You may not have a PS3. You may not have a Windows Media Center all sorts of different use cases, but the point of the matter is, if you want cable TV, but you don't want to pay the cable company every month for their stupid box, in which case, ugh, this is mine, covered in dust, kind of dented, and I got it that way, the HD Home Run Prime is a great alternative. Back to me. Now, as you saw, it's not as easy as having the cable guy come and plug a box in and give you the remote, but not paying a monthly fee for equipment is pretty great. And while certain cable providers let you watch TV on the internet, the HD Home Run Prime is simply taking the cable signal and repackaging it to put it on your home network so the quality doesn't depend on your internet speeds and you don't get buffering errors. Then you also open up a whole world of devices and media players you can use along with it and it really can change the way you watch TV. Now, I mentioned DVR functionality, and if you have a computer with DVR software, you're good to go. Since the HD Home Run Prime has three tuners, you can watch and record up to three shows at once. Silicon Dust is also pulling together their own DVR solution, and that'll work perfectly with their HD Home Run series of products. For more information about that, head to SiliconDust.com. All in all, it's a pretty great setup. Now, for those of you who don't want to pay the cable company at all, there's a product for you as well, and we'll talk about that in the next episode. But for now, that's all for today. 
Special thank you to Silicon Dust for helping out with this episode and loaning us some gear. Until next time, I'm James Papadopoulos. Thanks for watching.